We are finally doing the field test. We're doing client testing at Jordan High School. We're in Utah in the United States. It's about 100 degrees, close, you know, 38, 40 degrees Celsius. So not, not too bad. Uh, we are finally with our access points in one end of the football field. And then we've been doing APO, uh, uh, different APs, different clients, and we did all kind of surveys, stop and go, continues, uh, autopilot, we've done GPS, and we are now just on the final stage of doing client testing at 10 meters, 25 meters, 50 and 75. So we're just moving away and getting different readings to a local WLAN pi that we have here and one that we have going out to the internet into uh, another speed test server that we manage through an LTE connection. You want to come around and show how you have it set up? Yes, absolutely. So it's changed a little bit since we started this morning, but uh, probably if you want to come on this side, we have all the batteries for the uh, different APs. We have uh, a Cambium, uh, an 8x8x8, and we have a couple of uh, AP41s from MIST and an AP43 also from MIST. We have a Cisco, uh, 2802, a couple of Rakos, a 710 and a 310, and an Aruba 515, that's an AEX access point. So I have all those APs coming to Axial Tech's batteries, and then those batteries are going into a 10-port PoE switch. This one is just AF, uh, and right here, we also have that battery, The uh, it's a, a charge tech that provides power for our LTE MicroTik box that is providing a DHCP for everybody, our clients and our APs, and also the, uh, the the PoE switch. So we're completely running off of battery right now. And uh, what we're doing is connecting each one of the clients. We have a Windows machine with an uh, AX uh, uh, NIC in it, and we have a MacBook Pro 13 uh, inch, and we also have an iPad and an iPhone. And we're just connecting to each one of the APs on 5 gig, and we have some APs configured. Uh, well, all of them are configured at 10 um, dBm, and there is one that is configured at higher power at uh, 25 uh, dBm. We have 16 dBm's on 5 gig and 25 dBm on 5 gig for the high power. And we decided not to do 2.4, but this is kind of like the physical setup of it. And of course, we use this. Uh, Tripod, tripods with um, one of these light DJ lightning racks and I just drill holes and put um, Wi-Fi stands throughout just I know they're not at the ideal distance but for the testing we're doing it works it's better than having nine tripods with nine um, Wi-Fi stands on top of them so it's just one rack and I figure out a way to put it inside my van it, it works out and of course it's wireless, but I know cables hunt us. So we have lots of cables and lots of cable management. This is our local uh, speed test server. The, when we connect each one of the clients, let's say for instance, this AP43, the client will connect at 10 meters, 25, 50, 75 to this guy. And then it will come and do a speed test locally to this guy. And then we're also, we're gonna get the upload and download speeds on this scenario and then the second test we do is connect to the same guy but to a WLAN pi that we have outside at the uh, Canyon School District data center and uh, so how we're reaching it we're not connected to a district office we are going from that client to the AP43 to of course the switch and then out the LTE box this is our gateway and this one is with an AT&T uh, card and it just goes out to a cell phone uh, network to the LTE network out to wherever it goes to one of the antennas and then back into the district office so we're hitting the one on that side of course the speeds are considerably lower uh, it's not because of the AP as we can as we can see the the purpose of this test is we are testing same device same distance same AP doing a speed test local and then to the one out to the device out in the data what center. Are the two same APs? Oh, uh, yes, these are AP41s. Those are Wi Fi 5, and one is set to low power. So, in, in 5 gig, we set, we set that guy down to a 10, uh, actually 16 dBm in 5 gig. 
and then the other guy is high power we put it at the max which is 25 dBm so it's uh, it's higher power on this guy so they're the same the only difference is that one is at 16 dBm the other one is at 25 dBm and the comparison of the two on the end oh this guy over here this one's gonna be an AP43 this is also a mist but this one is a Wi-Fi 6 device and it's also at 16 dBm on 5 gig uh, and we're just comparing because these guys are um, Wi-Fi 5, these ones are Wi-Fi 6. And then the, the two on the ends? So this one over here, so AP41, low power, and this one is a Cambium. And this Cambium actually, you know, kind of surprised me, it's an 8x8x8 8 8 8 and uh, very, very easy to configure, very intuitive. The interface was very friendly. I had never uh, experienced one of those. And this is an 8x8x8 8 8 8, and it's also a 16 uh, dBm on 5 gig and we're you know, getting pretty good results on this guy. Thanks. Hey, thank you. Go back to well, doing some more, more work. testing and we have more data to report later. Yes.